I audible? Okay, yeah. Uh, thanks everyone and thanks for the welcome speech. I think uh, I am the kebab me haddi between you and the tea break. I think one more kebab me haddi might also come. Uh, so I'm Jay. Uh, I'm an engineer. There's a lot of transient short story. Uh, mine is also kind of similar. My engineer uh, did my MBA from NITI Mumbai, which is now uh, I am Mumbai. Probably might be BM Mumbai, like Bharat Institute of Management Mumbai. Uh, and uh, yeah, it feels pretty nostalgic when you come to Mumbai, right? Uh, Juhu, Pani Puri, Bail Puri, and then the after effects the next day and all those stuff, yeah. So, sorry. So we are uh, uh, a logistics marketplace. We are uh, pretty simply like uh, to, uh, like inspired by Uber kind of stuff where we are uh, uh, Uber for trucks. Um, we do have like, do 11,000 monthly transaction. We are like, like if, you, if you know Porter, we are like a Porter for a long distance truck. Uh, we have 900 customers, 6,500 uh, 6, trucks running on a monthly basis. And we do 40 crores of monthly uh, billing uh, every month. Okay. We have like 450 employees, 40 developers. Uh, like I was kind of intimidated by uh, Rushab that he got only 30, 35 developers. So we have been using SAP B1 since 2016. Uh, mainly trucking has a lot of transaction. Like uh, when you see uh, when a truck is loaded, the, the transporter, basically the load provider, he pays advance to us. And then the, we pay advance to the truck owner. Similarly, unloading, uh, there is a two pay amount which the uh, transporter pays or the load provider pays. And then the truck owner gets the balance payment. And then there is proof of delivery, invoicing balance payment and all those things and when you are the middleman you kind of end up processing the both side of the transaction and all of these transactions are automated we have a, a postgres uh, node js on top of it and under which it was sap b1 and you also need to hand, uh, and sap b1 is connected to icaca through direct apis and then for icaca backup you got you have s bank apis all of this is happening automatically we have like one or two accounts people, everything is automated by the tech team. And, and you cannot lose money in this business because we operate at a very low margin in each transaction. Any wrong transaction happening and the cost of uh, having the wrong transaction is pretty high because you cannot recover from a truck owner that amount. And we also need to do transaction faster because uh, every hour the truck is waiting, you are losing money, the truck owner is losing money. If a truck owner is losing money, we are making money out of the truck owner. So you are also losing money. Uh, so how we transitioned, when we started in 2016, we are pretty much a SAP B1, this like SAP B1 is uh, like, I'm, a, I'm one of the founder of uh, Freight, but SAP B1 is coming before me itself. Uh, so uh, we have been using SAP B1, we wrote all our code, all our stuff, everything right in SAP B1 and kind of established an app on top of SAP B1 with uh, MS SQL database, directly writing to MS SQL database kind of stuff in 2016. Um, and then in uh, 2018, uh, probably, that's again when I transitioned from an MBA manager to a, a developer, right? So developer to a MBA to a developer. So pretty much shitty code in the initial two years. Then we migrated to Node uh, having some Java stuff and then MySQL. Our transactions were increasing, not very high our transaction just like any online e-commerce stuff it started shooting up during the covid that's when if you see the uh, tra uh, trips per day we kind of during the covid we moved from uh, 70 trips per day to 200 trips per day and our transaction was uh, scaling a lot our sap started to crack so 2020 we started to transition we, we kind of rewrote all our stuff um, we, we are on a continuous process of migrations uh, so, uh, we changed our database to Postgres, uh, used Azura, Azura is an open source graphical platform and then started bringing Node.js into the platform, pretty much a uh, Java stack uh, overall. And then we built our own custom message queue, uh, that's where the problem of SAP being a blocker uh, started to come because all our transaction has to first put an entry into SAP that uh, let's say I'm paying advance to the truck owner. This 50,000 advance I am paying to the truck owner, the SAP has to put an entry 
After that, the message queue will start and then it will use the ICICI API and send it to the ICICI API. Now, if the ICICI API fails, again, there has to be a backflow where you need to come back, uh, uh, delete the transaction as SAP uh, uh, B1 and then come back and put in new data also. This is kind of cancelled, the, let the user retry. All of this has to happen at a pretty short period. But then it wasn't, okay. Our target was to keep all the transaction within 30 seconds. But then the minimum um, was 180 seconds. Average was uh, six minutes maximum during peak hours. Again, trucking, um, like well, for whatever reason, happens peaks, has a lot of peaks but from, uh, let's say somewhere between 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. All transactions kind of happens only at this time. When once the truck gets loaded, that's when, when a lot of transaction happen. Before that, most of the transaction of matchmaking and all those things happens in our platform. But accounting works happens only between the 4 to 8 p.m. So now uh, we were stuck with the classic example whether to buy, which is actually the SAP B1 kind of way, whether we need to buy more server for, of SAP B1, my, buy more license, or kind of build or kind of uh, go through a FOSS kind of way. Um, buy was super expensive. Uh, like, like we, we, we kind of transitioned into a uh, profit making entity and uh, growing profitably, growing sustainably instead of the venture capital way back in 2018 before a lot of people started to do in 2022. Okay. So HANA and then annual license and having consultant niche skill. So you have a separate developer kind of SAP B1. You have a different set of developer for all other stuff. Those kind of complexity, the long-term ownership of these complexity was becoming a headache. So buy was uh, surely a, uh, uh, not a case itself. So uh, now build versus FOSS, again, uh, just like uh, Rushab, uh, he was mentioning yesterday, he was questioning a lot of stuff in his childhood. Uh, I was copying a lot of stuff in my childhood, okay. I used to copy in my school, exams, labs. Uh, but then uh, probably the better term, the Bollywood term would be inspired by. So I get inspired by a lot of stuff. So this was the one blog which I really got inspired by. Uh, this is by Kailash Nath. Uh, let's talk about really common sense, right? Lot of, uh, uh, like uh, when we grew, when we uh, develop companies, we miss a lot of common sense, okay? So probably this is the one of the greatest blog which I've read. And then like fast, 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 fast everywhere. And it was easily to get inspired by uh, this. And uh, we took uh, a leap of faith from here and started doing POC. And we also started bringing in a lot of FOSS element to our stuff. We were running AWS servers and also those AWS servers also started becoming pretty heavy on cost. Even running a node server or Postgres servers and all those stuff. So we started migrating all these elements also to a self-hosted Postgres, uh, uh, Rocket Chat, migrating from, we were using uh, Sendbird, uh, we were migrated to Rocket Chat and did a lot of these stuff. So, but SAP, like as, as uh, um, um, I think Mahima who told, migrating from SAP, like which you have been using for six, seven years is a pretty tough task. Uh, but, but again, um, like uh, in one of the Twitter posts, what uh, uh, Rushab mentioned, you need to have an intent. We really had the intent to migrate. We know this is not going to work. Uh, we, we plan to migrate. But these proof of concept, we did a proof of concept with ERP Next. We did stuff manually. We did all those transactions. We, we were pretty comfortable, at least with the software as such. And then uh, Elastic Run, which is kind of uh, pretty similar to our line of business being on uh, Frappe, enterprise client being on Frappe uh, helps, gives a lot of confidence. And then Vasant, who is the CEO on me, we met uh, Rushab and uh, uh, Rushab in his own way. Uh, like we were, I was asking a lot of questions like, uh, should I do just a JE based uh, entry? Should I just use the API and do those stuff? And uh, Rushab, I think he knows, you know, uh, in his own way, he was like, ah, kar do. okay, oh, go bhi kar do. So that's like, that gives you a lot of freedom and confidence. Yes, this software, can manage a lot of your complexity. Uh, yeah, this is probably a, uh, uh, like, like the Frappe team told me, I am using a lot of tables. So this is probably a, a teacher uh, uh, camouflaged as a product evangelist. So this is a table camouflaged as a timeline. 
So uh, January we did POC, we started this January, we did a POC and then we had a March deadline, our team was pretty confident, uh, like uh, Mani, Sharuka, Balaji, they were part of the team, they were pretty confident they will be able to complete within the March deadline, which is like a three month period. But then in between only March we realized, no, we are not going to use the full fledged process, we will probably just use the JE based process, that is better, easier to connect through a API and do instead of going through a full-fledged as a sales invoice, as a purchase invoice kind of environment. But then we, we kind of started to rewrite those things in March using a JE based stuff. And then in May, what we did is we kept SAP as our primary, but then brought in ERP Next as our secondary. So instead of a full migration, we kept both these parallel uh, systems. Uh, obviously, we met the deadlines. We built the parallel system and we keep bridging all the gaps, like money and the team, they built reports uh, where you analyze uh, this database and this database, what are the gaps, and then um, kept fixing those gaps. And then in June, we migrated uh, ERP Next as a, uh, uh, sorry, ERP Next as the primary and SAP as the secondary. That's what we did in June. And uh, continued with the report migration. We didn't migrate at all the reports. Uh, we were migrating all the reports, which the old reports were still pointing to the SAP B1. Finally, in July, we stopped. We also lost 35 lakhs of wrong transaction. As I mentioned, we did a long transaction of 35 lakhs. Uh, probably, uh, it was too early to migrate without converting all the reports. We should have converted all the reports and migrated. But we were lucky enough to get back those amount as well. And then this is the current uh, mission migration. We are now pretty much able to bring transaction to 30 seconds or 40 seconds with 25% of the server cost. Um, now, uh, this is the, again, a table converted into a chart. So uh, now even maximum hour, we are able to do it within a minute, which is a real value fat of the truck owner. Okay, a truck owner doesn't need to disturb my team. My team doesn't need to my operation team and all these teams, they de doesn't need to disturb my uh, tech team because most of the time you are, like in the rush hours, you are just figuring out what to do, what to do kind of stuff, but uh, we had kind of got rid of all those mistakes, all those hours. Learnings, again, probably if I want to do it, I will hire an expert uh, instead of figuring out a lot of stuff ourselves. Uh, plan parallel system when you are migrating a huge set of stuff, plan parallel system, probably CRM and all those things might be easier, but you are migrating your accounting system, you need to do have, have a parallel system. Plan for custom features, figure out what all custom features you might need and plan for that uh, upfront. Execution, execution really matters, so uh, you need to have a strong team, you need to support the team because they are taking a risk of migrating a legacy system. Uh, have Try to have a sprint based target where you have a you know that these stuff has to be transitioned at this period. And then appreciate results, you need to start those things. Accept risk, you need to have a patience and perseverance. So these, these projects are going to be painful. Uh, your customers are not going to see result on the short term, but it's a long term bet. Roadmap, uh, uh, like, like Umar was mentioning, uh, customers buy into the ecosystem. So we are uh, buying in, uh, we are bought, already bought into the Frappe ecosystem. We are looking at, uh, we are trying to expand to the global market. We are looking at using Frappe instead of uh, all those stuff, using Frappe plus Frappe UI and build this for the global market. And we have already implemented Frappe Helps Desk. Uh, we are also uh, like, uh, like uh, the Comet company. We are also looking at instead of Rocket Chat. Uh, Rocket Chat is pretty good, but then it doesn't load as fast as, as we want. So we are looking at whether we can use Raven plus LLM for a lot of our chat based negotiations. Uh, again, we are looking at Jasper reports. We use a lot of reports, Jasper reports to send emails and all those things. We are looking at whether we can migrate it to Frappe Report Builder, uh, which is an awesome tool. We now have our payslip. My payslip always used to have a .xls.pdf. Now, at least it doesn't have, we could be use Frappe Report Builder and I get a .pdf now. Uh, and then we are also looking at Frappe Cloud. That's, that's, a, that's an awesome option for us where uh, somebody like us, we can run part in cloud, part as cell phone, those kind of advantages is a huge advantage of for organization who runs our own DevOps. Uh, ideal customer profile, ICP is, if you know who should uh, probably look at profit, if you're profit oriented, if a customer is profit oriented, if a customer has a long term view, probably uh, you need to, uh, you pro not probably, you should uh, look at Frappe. Uh, 
you like if somebody is going to implement it by themselves then um, they need to have a strong developer team like the previous uh, the company um, i forgot the the form company from africa like they mentioned the developer experience really matters here so if you have a developer if you have a customer who has a development team and they want to take it further then probably that frappe is the right tool for them uh then unified platform again uh, i cannot stretch more on a unified platform because your internal customer your external customer everybody use a unified platform unified ui it reduces lot of learning time and your developer again developing in his own way instead of using the same framework it leaves it's it saves lot of time and uh, clutter and all those stuff when do it early uh, organization should do these things as early as possible it comes with a huge cost of migration uh, like continuous migration gives lot of migraine so probably you should do it faster at least you got rid of every time thinking of whether i should use a rocket chat whether i use use a kafka whether i use this tool whether i use a hub spot you pretty much know that yeah i'm in a frappy mode i can do all the stuff okay high cost of technical dub as, as i said uh, we we do have high cost of technical dub uh, most probably because i started developing most of the stuff again uh, what we need to do uh, now what we are looking at is giving back promote force we have been lot of we have been consuming lot of force giving back we want like one of this is like sharing our journey we want to like to promote uh, these kind of stories in social media we would like also like to conduct meetups in chennai coimbatore i see lot of people uh, tamil speaking people here who are uh, into the frappe environment other giving back to the community one more is we have launched a uh transport management system app probably if somebody is looking uh, somebody has a logistics uh, client and they want to manage your uh, part load and full truck load using frappe uh, this is a pretty good software which we have developed prashant and uh, so prashant and nitish were uh, uh, they worked on this project we are able to pretty much build a, a full fledged tms it's not it's, there's still uh, we are looking at bringing insights and all those things into the platform but it's a full fledged uh, end to end management you can manage uh, like your clients can manage um uh, uh, right from indenting to driver salary to truck management and everything fully open sourced uh, we just launched in the frappe cloud only last week uh, thanks to husain and team and all those uh, uh, people who have been helping us guiding us to launching this at least before the event uh, yeah so that's pretty much we want to say thanks everyone i'm open for we have questions thanks yeah okay thanks everyone